guys, no matter how much you beg, we are not doing the sixth night in custom night. Sorry guys, after that, I don't think I want to cut it any more close. I don't think we could have cut it any more closer than that. I'm going to die. You see? Yeah. You see? I'm dead. I'm right! How are you? Hello. As always, I am the Inverted Shadow. And I'm Shadow Below 7. We are Double Shadow Productions and we are back! We're back! About goddamn time. I know, right? We're sorry for taking so long on getting anything done on Double Shadow, but you know, life can be a bitch, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we are here with a new playthrough of Layers of Fear. I've been dying to play this game for a while now after seeing so many playthroughs of it. I've seen DA Games play this and I've heard the song he did, which you probably heard over the intro of our playthrough. I know, it's just so awesome. So, what do you say we dive in? Oh yes! I've heard many things about this game and we have been incredibly tempted to try it. Oh, it's fun. Now that we're finally getting back into the swing of things with Double Shadow, maybe we have a chance to see what's in store for us. Mm-hmm. But again, we apologize for, you know, being silent on our work. Yeah. But what can you do? I know. Just feels so great to be back with this, though. It does. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling this could take a while. Mm-hmm. We just installed them and all. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Is that paint or blood, I just realized? Make sure of both. Could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not imagine now that I think about it. Neither do I. By the way, this opening music was incredibly creepy. I know, and I love it. I love how it's done. I thought the humming was you for a second when I first heard it. <laughs> Blackness, my old friend. Darkness. <sighs> Oh, I hear footsteps. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Keyword. Hmm. Finish it. Every uh, portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray. That is true. God, I remember reading that novel back in my high school days. That was something. Oh boy, there is lag ahoy. Hang on a second as I try to tone things down. Because unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of having a very high-end computer, sadly. That's fine. Mm. <laughs> that fucking thunder, I wasn't anticipating that. Yeah. Okay, so, welcome to Layers of Fear. Mm-hmm. And you gotta really inspect the rooms. You can't go out. Look on the floors, look everywhere. Alright. Sorry for the lag, again. Oh. Alright. This is our abode. Oh! Pleasant little home. Oh, oh look, every scrap of paper you see, pick it up. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to your such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. 
Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pes, ratific pacification in Perth. So, our first clue about this guy is that um, he believes that there is a rat infestation all around, and clearly there isn't any. Hmm. Yeah, any scrap of paper, any scrap of paper you see on the floor, everywhere else, look it up. So he used to have a dog. Okay. Because in the very first room we went to, we see a dog muzzle. What does that say? Um, I don't know. Pup kill or something. Yeah, I can't read it. Me either. Uh, is that blood? It's wine. Oh. These controls are going to take some getting used to with the mouse and everything. Oh, oh. something there. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and shoved his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! Gasp! In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Aw, it's from our wife. She knows we work hard. Well, at least she's pleasant about it. Mm-hmm. Anything in the oven? Is there a crouch button? No. Oh. Alright, then. So we do have a wife, that much we know. Right. Oh, there's more. Hmm. Oh, hello. What is Paper. That? Paper. Paint. Paint. Rose, Rose Dory. Dory. Burnt, um, burnt, burnt, burnt umber. Sienna. Brushes. 25 brushes. Air, 50, 50 packs of air fresheners. air fresheners. 10 kilograms of apples and some 30 grams of booze. Grumpy. Yeah, burnt umber and sienna, they're uh, paints. I kind of figured. Bob Ross taught us that. Yep. And I used a lot of those back in my days, uh, back in my art classes. <laughs> and I get the feeling we're not going to be painting any happy little trees tonight. <laughs> Wait till you see. Alright, I guess now we just head upstairs. Now, if you look on some of the walls of those paintings, you do see some, um, some iconic paintings. There's another thing. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. That's our studio in there. Oh, the space bar makes it easier to read. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, can we go back to that collar and see if it makes that easier to read? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, nope. No, but if we go upstairs, we'll go to our office. And there's some very important things you should go to. Uh, if you go upstairs, we go to our office, and there's a lot of key details in there. All right. And if you look up there, you'll see some very iconic paintings, I think. You see Nightmare up there with that lying woman. That's the painting, um, Nightmare. Something along that line. And, um, I think that was it. I remember something. I do remember seeing one more other painting, but remember... Oh yeah, go to that piano. Whoops! <laughs> Something made me jump there. Ooh, let me play the piano. Hmm. Let me play. Whoops! Okay, you don't want me to play? Jeez. Sorry I asked. Something in this house apparently does not like us. Oh. Been working all night, don't wake me up. That's from us. From us? Yeah. yeah, we're kind of a dick. That door is locked. But yeah, there should be um, some newspapers around. Oh yeah, I believe it's in this room. I believe dumpling it's in here. Around, That's around, the bed, yes. Uh, there should be some... Phonograph is turned on by itself. Hello. Key hmm. detail. Galactics. Hang on a second. I see it. Hmm. I was gonna shut up that record player, but then it did it by itself. Mm -hmm. Galactic spread opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. 
While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. So a fire happened one time. Hmm. Um, there should... Oh. oh. A ring? Our wife's ring. I wonder what it's doing in here. But there should be... There is one more, uh... There is some few uh, articles about our wife, actually. Uh... I forget where they are, though. I think we need to go... I think... What's that? Oh, oh yeah. Our walking... It's our, uh... Cane. We're not a very... Because have you noticed how we've been walking... How we're walking? We're kind of, uh... Kind of a what? Limping. And we are a drunk, also. We're an, we're a bit of an alcoholic. So kind of a bang-up job we are. Yep. But yeah, there should be, um... Uh... It's around here some... It's around somewhere. Wait. Nope, that's nothing. No, but, um... I'm digging the atmosphere of this game. I know. Ah, it's our, it's our daughter's room. We have a little. We have a. We also have a small child. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling it's had at this point? Yeah, had. Hmm. Mhm. Mm I will say this game is setting up a very amazing atmosphere so far. Mhm. Mm uh, but there should be some papers detailing about um our wife. Because, um, there's an important detail as to some things about her. I see. Because she's also an artist herself, in a way. Hmm. I believe they're... Out of the bathroom. Well, this house is thoroughly decrepit, if mm -hmm. anything. Then we can turn the lights on, too. Oh, I found something. Ugh. Low See? knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? So that that, that confirms that uh, we have a limp knee. That's never fun. Yep. That's why he carries a walking stick. I'm not seeing any more newspapers, my friend. Um, there is an office we need to go to. I kn I know where to go. I think we go back. We go back up the stairs. Okay. And people are gonna be commenting at us that you know. Don't worry, I know what to do. I know what to do. I don't, because I never played this game. We've never played this game ourselves, so. Alright, here we are. This is the office. And turn lights on. Where is it? Should be oh, light here switches. Is it. There we go. There we go. But yeah, uh, look around. Look at the. Interesting photo. Baby on painting. face. That's uh his that's one of his pieces. Ugh. Oh, keep, just keep just keep uh, turning the pages. Just keep. That's certainly a twisted tale of Little Red Riding Hood. It's the true story, actually. Right. And look at the reaction that he got from as uh, publishers. Oh, we need we need those keys. That's just the key to our studio. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Yep. Something does not seem right. Apparently, uh, we had a fight with our wife, but grab those keys. We need that key for our studio. Right. And look, open the drawer. Open Which the drawers. One? All of them, because um, it contains a very certain letter from our publisher, oh. right there, about the Lower Riding Hood. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. See? Wow. Yeah, we're kind of fucked in the head. I was about to say. 
Now let's go downstairs to our studio, and that's where the real game begins. I was wondering, people, because I we've been running around this house for like seven minutes at this point. Don't worry, sis has got this. I know, sis. All right, there's our studio. Enter. Um, yep. Yeah. Enter. Oh. Doorbell. Now look above the look above the door frame when you go in. Uh. You're going the wrong way. Wait, what? You're going the wrong way. In the office. Yeah, go in there. There you go. Get it right this time. Yeah, every time you come back here, always pay attention to the door frame. Okay. Now, what's on here? Let's see. Three, what's under curtain number one? Three, two, one, and veil. Yeah. yeah. Covered up for a reason. I got an achievement. Okay. Now, exit. Those the, that cabinet is for clues. What are the clues? Only I know. Oh joy. Uh, See? I don't remember the house being like this before. We're in our layer of fear. I'm feeling discomfort already. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> oh god, I hate it when you laugh like that. <laughs> Now this is where the real game begins. Joy. Look in here. Oh, just out of reach. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. It. And every time you uh, go back, uh, leave the room, the room changes again. Okay then. I don't like this. I do. Oh, see, that's Never. our wife. She used to be our daughter for a second. So we know about our wife. She's a pianist. She's a great musician. She's a renowned musician. Uh, going in circles. Drunk. Who, who wrote that? Soul coughing. Probably us. This is our mind, after all. Hmm. All right, now there is some puzzles in this game. I kind of. All right. Oh, anything in here? Nope. Paintbrush. Okay. Go to the paintings on the wall. There should be a. All right. Oh wait. Um, there should be there. Okay, never mind. Shh, what? I hear something. I hear something I don't like the sound of. Uh, nothing in here. But there's a safe. Don't don't go to the paint just yet, but go to that safe on that cabinet. No, 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 no. Other way. Not there. No. Mm. There. See oh. that chest? Hmm. Um, okay, I hear uh, noises and I don't like the sound of. Uh, put on the and uh, I think we put the candles on or blow them out. No, uh, get away from the safe. Uh, go back to the paintings. I think they reveal. No, it's there. There's like three portraits on the wall. Other way. Uh, turn the turn that turn that can, that candle on. Turn on. Uh huh. Oh, oh. Eight, five, five, four. Okay, eight, five, four. Mm-hmm. Kind of curious exactly what's inside this box. There. The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? The ring. That's an awfully straightforward proposal if I ever heard one. Mm-hmm. Can we go? Oh, wait. Oh! That ring on the uh, wall. Never. Never forget, that door was not there before. 
Shadow. Mm-hmm. It fucks with you. You mean you're fucking with me? Eh? <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of this in this fight there, isn't there? Yeah. I'm watching you. <laughs> this game's like paranoid already. Don't mind me, I'm just enjoying myself. Of course you are. You always enjoy my misery. Oh, look at that baby on the wall. Look at that baby on that thing. On that on that wall, see? It's a baby doll. Yeah, that's not unpleasant at all. What the? And we land in the basement. <sighs> <laughs> Shut it. I love fucking with you. You've made that very clear. <laughs> all right. It's now dark down here. I don't like dark places. I really don't. Go to the Lights. basement. Go Lights to the basement, please. Yes. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. No, thank you. It's no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Turn, turn on the thing. Turn on the thing. There you go. Open the door. I don't want it. I don't want it. Get me out of here. And look, the baby's on the uh, the mantelpiece. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. You, I do not like. I do not. <laughs> God damn it! That was terrifying. Hard to find a game that actually does that nowadays. Mm hmm. Ah! Go forward. I don't want to. Shadow. Go! I don't want to. Go! Okay. God damn it. Mm. Paint deep lies. Hi. Now a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves. <laughs> so he obviously loved his wife. That's not a surprise. Mm -hmm. All right. Seriously, there's so many games I can name that actually have me feeling this bit of dread so early. Amnesia? Don't remind me. <laughs> I had another bad experience with that game and the sequel. Uh, should be. What's our number at this point? What we have here. Whoa! Boom! <laughs> what? I knew that was gonna happen and it still got me. <laughs> Shut it! Ugh. I forget. There's something. Oh, that. Try the candles again. Candles? No. Nope. Uh, what do I remember? Hopefully, you don't That's, remember oh, anything. What's? Leave the room, perhaps. Possibly. Uh, why did the light suddenly change? Because that, right. cha that room changed. <clears throat> Nothing in the bookcase. We do need to find for six certain clues. Right. That's just a window, so that's nothing. <laughs> what is that? Just go through it. I don't want to. I hear crying that I don't like the sound of. It's our wife. But I wouldn't go visit her if I were you. I have no intention to, believe me. Uh. Take your poison. I don't want to. You're going to anyway. Fucking, I'm going left. Anything to get away from that crying. That'd be very nice. And we're behind the... We're in the winery. We're in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. All right. Or in the storage unit of the kitchen. All right. I'm not feeling very hungry at the moment, so let's just keep moving. Uh, first step is the hardest. That's always true. Is there a drop behind this door? Yeah. Um, we got, we're going to be in here for a while, but look around. This kitchen got suddenly cleaner all of a sudden. 
Oh, <laughs> it won't be for long. Why? Well, don't don't inspect the. I mean, like walk around in a circle. Oh, go through that door. Try. What? 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 What, what, what was that? What was that? Everything is falling apart. Oh, uh, uh, go to go to that painting. I uh, think there's something there. Bang. What was that? No. Oh. Go there. I don't want to. Somebody's there. Oh. What? Oh! <laughs> I don't want it. I don't no. want it. Watch this. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting. Oh God! Now go over there. That's our first clue. I don't. Oh, this. First, I looked for a canvas. Is this a Not piece of just skin? Any canvas. Mm -hmm. I had what to find fuck? a knife. Not one of those That's red ones. Dried. It needed skin. to be as sharp as a razor. Oh, that is. So I used yeah. a razor, in fact. That's what he and used then for his canvas. Carefully flayed the skin. skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. First clue complete. Can I go now? Yeah, we'll get out of here. Uh. Oh. And I, now we're and now we're back what, here. What? Oh, the door frame. Go to the door frame. Shapeless dreams. Oh, I forgot. Look at that piece of paper right there. Read Where? that. This. Yeah. Oh wait, not there, not that, um, there should be a, a scrap of paper in there. there should, on the, near, uh, on, near the canvas. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? But go to, there. See that paper right there? Jumbled words. It's the very first lines you say in the, in the, they say in the game. Finish it. Now look at it again. With the canvas? Yep. It reveals something else. Ah, uh, Flamingos? Looks like it. Alright, now we get uh, to our second clue. Alright, so here's the thing about... First I looked f Okay, yeah. The, that, yeah. And it's disgusting! Yep, we're pretty fucked. Yeah, I think we're going to take a break here because I need to compose myself. Yeah, I need to get going anyway. Oh, oh, God, this game. Isn't it fun? Disgusting, grotesque, and very, very, has a feeling of dread, but amazing. I'll give it that much. I can I see it. why people kind of wanted us to play this, even though, yeah. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> All right, so we'll pick this up in another episode. I guess we'll see you next time. See you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Why are you asking me this when the answer is just, oh, I don't know, open the damn door. Because I don't want to walk into an obvious ch- Why, hi, hi, Oh, even he says it. Even at least there wasn't a wedding in this one. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Grim. <laughs> party, man. How you doing? How's your mouth? Very, very nice to meet you. Oh my god! It's me.